Glad to see the guys out giving five after a football game again. How silly was it that the football players could go play face to face, tackling each other, and then somehow couldn't give five after the game for some sportsmanship. I mean, pretty crazy. So, um, today I wanna to talk about this idea of failing because it's, for whatever reason, never set right with me, okay? And the reason is, it has started to feel like coaches and gurus and trainers and whoever have started to advocate for failing. And you guys, it's not about failing. It's just not. Yes, failing is okay. It's okay for the following reason. Your goal is to step outside of your comfort zone. In order to step outside your comfort zone, you have to extend yourself. You have to be creative. You have to apply yourself in new ways. You have to learn new skills. You have to um, get into new situations. And as you do that, the natural results many times will be failure. It's not failure. The only time you fail is when you quit before you're done. That's literally the only time. Any other time you are experimenting, you are finding new ways, you are um, building new skill, you are working through the process to become better. And sometimes you're gonna miss the mark. That's just what happens when you learn. It is the same as anything you will try on this earth, whether it's school, whether it's sports, whether it's dating. I mean, ask, ask a kid in high school who has tried to go out with several different girls, they tell him no. It's not failure, it is trying to figure out what works, trying to figure out what's attractive, trying to figure out what girls like, or vice versa, girls asking boys, it doesn't matter. It's when you step into the strength and conditioning gym and you're gonna go for a PR, some days you will hit it, some days you won't. That's the whole point. Working toward that PR requires you to step outside, step above what you're currently capable of doing to get to a new level of strength. With your mental skills, you cannot expect to step into a new mental skill on day one and have it work for you perfectly. It just won't. And that's absolutely okay. And where you grow and learn and progress is in the sticking with it, in the grit, in the persistence to keep going and keep working on these skills that are going to make you a better athlete, a better person, um, better friend, whatever. It doesn't even matter. Better, better student. So stop thinking in terms of success and failure and think in terms of process and progress. In your attempt to progress, you are going to run up against obstacles. You are going to run up against challenges. You're gonna run up against difficulties. You're going to hit up a spot where you are unable to do something right away. So again, the only time that you fail is if you hit that obstacle and you quit. If you're in the gym and you're going for a one rep max squat and your current max is 300 and you're going for 305 or 310 and the first time you don't hit it, okay, at least you know where you are. At least you know what you can work on. Then you get with your strength and conditioning coach and you work up until next week you hit your 305, you hit your 310. Same thing with your mental skills. It's going to take you a minute to get to the point where you can visualize, where you can um, reframe naturally, where you can step into a situation and feel completely confident all the time. It doesn't just happen overnight, it takes some work. That's what I'm here for and that's what I can help you. I can give you those tools, I can work with you and I can provide those opportunities for you to stretch yourself and for you to grab onto those new skills and progress into a better 
more prepared, more confident, more creative individual, whatever it is that you're gonna do. So let's get away from the idea that we're failing. Let's get into the idea that we are progressing. And the challenges and obstacles are simply part of that progress. Doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't matter if you lose a match or lose a game. Doesn't matter if you miss that PR, as I mentioned. Um, doesn't matter if a negative thought pops into your head every now and again. You are working on ways to get past those obstacles. There's this whole idea that the obstacle is the way. And what that means is, as you hit an obstacle, you are then challenged to find a way to go over, under, around, or through that particular obstacle. And as you overcome that obstacle, you are now a different person. You are now more capable. You now have a greater skill set to achieve, to succeed, to overcome, whatever it is that you're looking to do. And you can choose to do this at any point in time. The beautiful thing about mental skills is that you can learn them and use them and improve on them every single day in just about every situation whenever you want. You don't need a gym, you don't need a field, you can do them wherever and whenever. All right, so keep that in mind, think that through. If you've got any questions, you can comment on this video, you can DM me, my phone number is on Instagram, you can go to my website, apexmpc.com, um, whatever you want. The, the new Calendly is on the website, it's also on Instagram and you can go and you can find a time to schedule with me and we can chat and see how we can work together to better improve your mental skills. All right, guys, get after it. Have a great weekend. Those of you out on the football field, good luck. Hope you have amazing games. Hope your stats are what you hope them to be. Hope your teams win. Have a great weekend and let's go.